We are currently at the forefront of our technological curve, a fact which is encouraging in itself as this means that society for the most part is evolving correctly. But this also means that we, as we advance we tend to leave behind old tech as this becomes obsolete, quirky and plain ridiculous to newer generations. Think about it. Today's teenagers have no idea what it means to wear a simple watch, be it mechanical, automatic, electronic or what have you. I know this is a rather tall order as an intro for a watch review as I myself have not really decided what this clip is about. Is it an editorial piece, a vlog or a simple unboxing and review? Instead I will just film and let you decide whether this piece of uh, a film has been informative, entertaining or just a plain waste of everyone's time. Get it? But before we get to the timepiece at hand, I will leave you with an interesting concept. Redundant tech never really gets obsolete or replaced by newer, more capable one. Cars have not fully replaced horses or oxen. The steam engine never fully disappeared when the combustion one came into on the stage. Consequently, the introduction of the smartwatch will not fully er erase our desire to own classic timepieces like this one. The Casio lineage something or other. I'm just kidding. Um, as other reviewers have pointed out, it's a rather unimpressive name for such a quality product. It does not inspire brand identity or a compulsive need to own it. You know the feeling. Um, iPhone guys instantly recognize generations by coding or maybe car guys know models by their internal factory designations and so on. Uh, BMW E36, you say that name and a car guy will instantly know what it's all about, whether they r like it or they want to own it and so on and so forth. And to make matters worse, the packaging is indeed bland, even cheap feeling for this product. This tin can, similar to British tea, is like buying a pack of Lipton. But the watch itself is a monument to Japanese design excellence and engineering perseverance, an homage to the 80s tech boom and microchip revolution when companies like Casio were the real deal and every yuppie had to own an electronic gadget on the wrist. Now I'm not going to pretend I know what this watch is all about, nor will I compare it to the competition, but I can show you how it feels and whether it's worth your time. Yeah, I'm going to stop with the lame jokes. <laughs> anyway, the timepiece itself is quite small, but that's okay for me as I have tiny girlish wrists. The fit and finish is exemplary and this is what has attracted me to this watch. Um, it's made of titanium, a quite exotic material with exquisite feel. It's light, which could make it feel cheap at first, but then again this is not a watch for those who like heavy gadgets. The strap is metallic and has a nice satin finish to it. The clasp has a spring release mechanism on the sides, so it's more uh, premium and uh, it has an extra quality feel to it. It's, just, it's not just a clip on clip off deal with your nail and so on. Um, the whole thing just oozes quality and premium construction all around, but don't mistake this for luxury. This is a watch for the subtle hipster, the modest but quirky guy who just wants something different but doesn't want to show off his approach to style and fashion. There are some nice features to this thing. For one, it recharges 
with sunlight so providing you expose it to bright light once a month you should have virtually unlimited battery life well for the first couple of years anyway maybe even get bored of the thing before it runs out of battery life another cool thing is this strap removal tool which I will show you right now let me just get it out of the box so here is the strap removal tool it's just a piece of plastic but you can take it and on the inside of the strap you place it on the segment which you want to open the, each of the middle segments have some sort of orifice there in the middle and you just align it and you'll hear a click a release mechanism and voila you just remove the um, well you remove the segment which uh, you uh, feel is extra and that's all there is to it as you can plainly see from my tiny girlish wrists I had to remove a total of four segments and I have uh, quite uh, amusingly uh, um, uh, classed them together in this quasi mechanical uh, puzzle sort of way so uh, this is what I have removed from the watch and I just close them up uh, pretty neatly on the back so now I have a strange quirky talisman on my desk so the general feel the construction the choice of materials the color of the dial and the screen the reduced dimensions all point out to a different approach towards a question that fewer and fewer ask in 2022 should I get a classic timepiece well I for one have been lusting on and off over a Casio lineage titanium watch for the past 12 years or so and to demonstrate I'm not just uh, all show and no go when it comes to gadgets I have put my money where my mouth is and bought this thing for 110 euros and keep in mind I don't even own a smartwatch neither did I own a watch for that matter for the last 10 years or so so now the final question the most important one for many of you watching is this watch worth it well what I have paid for it sure it's a great anachronistic homage and a great techie cameo in my daily endeavors is it worth 200 euros or so I don't really think it does this by the way is the price that it it's shown on Amazon and sites like this for this particular timepiece the quality of the product should justify this purchase alone but for me in a time when smartwatches half the price offers so much more I don't really think this lineage is worth 200 euros to give you a plain example I can purchase today a Huawei GT2 Pro smartwatch made out of titanium with a calf leather strap for under 180 euros less than what this Casio costs on Amazon so yeah this is my clip and this is my watch I guess I don't really know what the conclusion would be I bought this thing so you don't have to basically I'm not even sure I'm going to keep it so there you have it thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye